Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today we have got quotes from Byron Katie. Byron Katie is a wonderful spiritual teacher who does this thing called the work and I got to do this work live with Byron Katie in London. This was some years ago and it was such a fun day. It was a full day of doing the work in person with her. So I've got some quotes, six quotes, two per group this time. And as usual, pick from between group one, group two or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Okay, if you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. Now, as with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords upright. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. We've got the tower card upright. We've got Kazimi. Now this is an astrological term where a planet is, I believe within about 16, 17 minutes of the sun. So it's about a degree, uh, in about a degree of the sun. Pretty sure I've got that right. <laughs> We've got learning, number 31. Beautiful. And we have got the Jack of Clubs. All right, so what am I seeing here in terms of the energy? We well, are definitely going through something. Nine of Swords comes when we're particularly, the word I'm getting is distressed. There's some distress. There's something not quite right in your world at the moment. We've got a towel moment. Probably feels like everything's being shaken up. Things are changing. You might be experiencing confusion or frustration. That's another way that this could be manifesting. All of this might be making you emotional, but you don't want to be emotional. This is a very simplistic reading of this Queen of Cups. You know, there's a lot to the Queen of Cups. She's quite incredible when she's upright because she has the power of love on her side. In the reverse position, how I'm going to read this is being quite emotional, but you don't want to be emotional. We've got this Jack of Clubs card here, which can be a bit of a hot headed, fiery energy. So it could well be that the situation that you're in is due to someone around you who, and I, I'm kind of getting male, someone around you male possibly, um, who is being difficult at the moment. And I'm not necessarily seeing, I mean, this person could be like a family member, this could, person could be, it's not, I'm not really picking up much of a love thing here. But I think in your heart of hearts, deep, within you, you're absolutely fine. And this is a beautiful card. And this is a beautiful concept that, you know, the planets that come really within the heart of the sun, they might be combust, they might have problems, whatever, but they're, they're actually, they do brilliantly. Like when you're in the heart of the sun. So for you, that's really what you need to learn to do. You need to learn how to find your way into your own sun energy. And the sun is really important because the sun is our soul and the sun is infinity. So if you can get 
to infinity. And what do we have? We have limitation. Okay, and I, I use this black and gold deck. This is my Saturn deck. <laughs> and Saturn is saying that all the limitations around you are shifting. The ground is changing. Everything's shifting and changing. Everything's being renegotiated. The limitations, there's turmoil around you. It's change, basically. But in your heart, in that sunny, infinite part of you, where there is love, okay, Got the Queen of Cups here, so where you, you get to that infinite part of you, you're totally fine. It's like being, and you know it's great that this is here, because this Queen of Cups, because when you're the little drop of water, when you think you're a little drop of water all by yourself, you're being pushed around on the surface, the waves, it's chaos. It's this tower card. But, and we've got this drop here, look at that. But when you consider yourself the ocean, you're fine. You know, when that drop comes back to be with the ocean, but if it thinks of itself as a drop, it will feel turmoil. And what you wanna do is you really want to go deep into the ocean there. That's another way of looking at it if we're going for a water analogy, but ultimately this concept of being the sun, that's what we really want to try and do. So to take your focus off the limitations and put them in the heart of you. See, it's, it says they're in the heart. You want to find that core, that place within you where you're fine because there's always, at all times, part of you that's fine that's completely fine let's see what byron katie has to say you're going to be fine i know that I, i've got a really strong feeling that yeah there's some stuff going on but i, I really do feel like you're going to be absolutely fine all right so let's see what you got from byron katie this is quite exciting okay so what does this say it says Ooh, when we stop opposing reality, action becomes simple, fluid, kind, and fearless. How beautiful. Yes, that's so true. And this is perfect. When we stop opposing reality, you know, when we just become okay with the reality around us as it is, and we have no need to change it when we can just accept. And you know, acceptance is a massive energy that I'm definitely tapping into a lot myself these days. I'm just accepting. I'm accepting, okay, it's like this. And when I accept it, what happens is I realize, realizations come in and the realizations are, it's not gonna be like this forever. Things will change. Like if I can accept it, then somehow space gets created and. I can think other thoughts and I, I actually start to see solutions and I start to see people who are coming up with solutions and I start to see opportunities and yeah that definitely happens when we stop opposing reality when we accept it as it is our actions become simple fluid kind and fearless we start to see solutions we realize that it's gonna, things are going to change there's a lot of good that comes from, you know, no, no struggle, right? No uh, resistance, no fighting against, all that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's a good, that's a good first quote to get. Let's see what the next one is. That definitely matches the energy that's here. Okay, now I had to cut the end of this one. You'll see that. <laughs> okay. Not perfect there. Okay. <laughs> so I must have some Virgo somewhere. Um, let's see. It says, isn't it marvelous to discover that you're the one you've been waiting for, that you are your own freedom? Yeah, I love that. That's really sweet. And that is true. That is true. Within you, in the heart of you, is a sun that goes forever. And, you know, when we leave this incarnation we take another body and we've done it many times we'll do it again um, there's that soul that sun that inner part of us that is eternal that is always the same that's unchanging which is a place of love 
everyone has that, you know, and it's just up to us to to spend some time here, to spend some time in our own hearts, uh, to to you know, and, and you're learning this, you, I, and I think you're becoming very good at it. You must be because you've drawn through. The, there is like a sort of mastery coming through. There are big challenges, but you're working to a level of mastery. If you look at your Ketu placement in your chart, you'll see where you've been spending lifetimes uh, of, that's your mastery place, you know, where, where you've been working hard, where you've been learning a lot. So this is an amazing reading, guys. I think the main message is hang in there. This situation will, will resolve. And it's fine for you to, to just take some time out, you know. Uh, really tap into that sun nature of yours. And where your sun is in your chart, you can look that up and you can see where you love being creative. Do we have some fire on the table? We do. I think creativity is going to be a good solution for you at this time as well. To, to step into your sun, to be creative, to do something, you know, to do something a bit different. And to, and yeah, there is a thing of self coming in here, the individual self, because we've got the sun. So being on your own, being creative, doing your thing, enjoying that because the more you put enjoyment energy into the atmosphere around you the better life is for you and everyone you know but yeah this is this is good energy here all right guys well thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. As with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. All right, so we're beginning with the Five of Cups in reverse. And see what pops into your intuition as we go. See what comes up for you. The Fool in reverse. Uh -huh. We've got the King of Wands upright. Void, of course. We've got this grounding card. Beautiful, Lord Ganesh Ji. And is that a little mouse I see? I think so. How cute. I've got my little, where's my, here's my little Ganesh G right here. Check him out. I've got a bit of a glam one. <laughs> oh, you can put that on your dashboard of your car. I don't know how you suppose you stick it. I don't know. Anyway, I don't drive, so. <laughs> um, three of... I was going to say swords, three of spades. Yeah, this would be swords equivalent. Okay, let's take a look and see what's here. This is an interesting one. This is typically a heartbreak card, but you are not going through heartbreak. I'll tell you what's happening for you. You are moving on from old heartbreak energy. Now, I don't know how old this energy is because we've all dealt with various heartbreaks across our lives you know in childhood we suffer simple heartbreaks from parents siblings friends school teachers even can cause that so there's all kinds of heartbreaks we feel along the way of life and i kind of feel like something is clearing for you it's going away okay so i don't i don't think you have to do anything about it I mean, the thing you could do to aid this, so there's some old energy that's clearing out for you. So that's great news. And it is to do with heartbreak. Could be to do with a love relationship, something like that. The way to aid it would be grounding. So spending time in nature. And you are gonna need 
some time on your own. You, it, you, you can do with some, I'm going to use a Heidi Sawyer term here, no man's land. She told us, I used to be part of her group, and she told us that, yeah, you, you guys are in no man's land right now. And uh, I remember those years. So, yes, um, I think you're having a, a touch of no man's land. How long is that going to last for you? I don't know. Don't worry, it won't take years. But um, grounding, grounding. How do we ground? What, how, what do we do? Well, if you have a garden or something like that, a terrific thing is actually being in the garden, sitting and reading a book or eating your lunch in the garden or doing some gardening, actually getting your hands in the earth. These are great things to ground yourself. And if you are living in an apartment or something like that and that's not easy, I mean, or if you're in a very city sort of environment, I was when I was in London. So how I would ground is I would just go for walks. I'd really feel the air. I'd really feel my feet on the footpath. I'd feel the sun. Uh, I'd walk to my local park and I'd just sit on the ground barefoot. That'll be great for you to do some of that if you can. I think there's some new thing that you might have been looking forward to that perhaps hasn't worked out or isn't working out at the moment. There's something along those lines. But I don't sense that that's anything major. This is a beautiful card here, King of Wands. These King cards are fantastic. And this is that feeling within you that I can overcome. I can overcome any obstacle, you know, and, and this person here is a leader. This person is strong and fearless and can figure it out. No matter what difficult situation this person is in, this person knows that it's figure outable. Okay, that anything that you are facing, someone else has done it before, and that you can find an answer, you can figure it out, you can transform anything you want. There's a real belief here. There's a leadership quality, but a real belief that we can overcome, we can do this, we can make it happen. We can create any solution to any problem. So this is your powerhouse energy that you've got at the moment. If you're dealing with some kind of challenge or something difficult, the you'll be able to find, you've got this resolve, you've got this resolve and ability to find answers or someone who can help you. So there's that. And there's this wonderful time needed in nature. There's just a bit of time out needed in nature. There's something that's resolving. I feel like that's just doing it by itself. <laughs> you don't have to do anything there. But yeah, I do think there could be a bit of, you know, a bit of, gee, I wish, I wish that this thing would have worked out. Something along those lines. Let's take a look and see what Byron Katie has to say about all this. Really interested to see what comes up. Take two, and then we've got two for the next group. Okay. So we have oh, this bit of a big one. Okay. You're just suffering from the belief that there's something missing from your life. In reality, you always have what you need. This is quite interesting. I do think this is the King of Wands coming through. So there's something you might be feeling. This could be lack. So this might be that something that you would have liked to have had work out is not working or a new opportunity that you would have liked. It, it, you know, this, this could be the kind of thing where I'm getting like you applied for a job, but you didn't get it. It's this kind of thing. It's this kind of energy here. Um, so, but you see, it says here, you're just suffering from the belief that there's, let's get that in focus. You're just suffering from the belief. Oh, it's not going to do it. <laughs> I'll put all these down. Come on, focus on the quote. You're just suffering from the belief that there's something missing from your life. Yeah, the full card reverse could be lack. Could be that just that there's something that you would like, but it hasn't happened. It's not happening. You don't have it. Something along those lines. So there's some lack. It's a bit of lack feeling here. In reality, you always have what you need. And it is this thing of 
frequently it's a good idea to just be in touch with the basics, to just be in touch with, okay, and I know this this is so cliche, but I'm going to say it, we've got roofs over our head, right? Like that's a great thing. You know, when I'm hungry, I can go and eat a meal. And, you know, um, what other things? In reality, you have what you need. Well, do you know, when we look at astrology, and one of the things I consult on is, okay, what Raj yogas do you have? What Dhan yogas do you have? I, I analyze all the various yogas you have. The other day when, you know, I was in the shower and I was turning on the hot tap, and I was just feeling so grateful that I've got hot water. And I was thinking, as I was turning it on, I was thinking, well, there are my Raj yogas working for me. You know, like all your Raj yogas, your Dhan yogas, all your great things in your chart, they're operating now. You know, it's like, and we've got to be grateful. They're all, all the stars are hard at work, um, giving us the great stuff now. And can we see it, you know? Or do we think, oh, when is that Raj yoga going to kick in? Or when is that, when is my money coming? Or when is my this happening? No, don't do that. Feel like it's all working for me now. It's all amazing now. And if we can do that, and if we can be grateful for that, well, that's completely amazing. And you'll be, because some, some old energy is clearing and you, you're going to be letting go, there's something you're letting go, maybe you're going to consciously let it go. That would be amazing. Uh, Lee Harris recently was talking about the fact that we need to consciously do our spiritual work right now. So if you're consciously letting something go, feel lighter, feel good, and that's going to leave you more room to feel really grateful for what is. Let's have a look at the next one. It says, ooh, seeking love keeps you from the awareness that you already have it, that you are it. Yeah, I love this. And I think this is brilliant. This is, look at that. We've got three of swords. We've got the five of cups in reverse. You are moving on. And I think you are embodying this. I think you are totally realizing and recognizing this in a deep way. You're very much in touch with this. Seeking love keeps you from the awareness that you already have it, that you are it. You are love. Love isn't a feeling. It, you know, it's just something you are. We come from love. We return to love. You know, we come from love to experience limitation and challenges and difficulties. So if you're here from group one, you'll notice that I did talk a little bit about that. Saturn is the limitations, and the sun is infinity, right? So, yeah, I think you're fully getting a grip on this concept. So this is an amazing group too. Thank you so much for drawing these cards through, and yeah, these quotes, great. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. Okay, so we have got whoops, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. I've got the Two of Cups in reverse. We've got the Three of Cups upright. We've got Dreams. Oh wow, how nice. I love this. Look at the colors, look at the patterns. Gosh, that's so cool. I'm amazed at people who can draw like that. That's why I, I really like doing this because I like draw, looking at different art and drawings and all that. Okay, ten of this would be like the ten of swords, ten of uh, spades. Yes, and that's not particularly upright or any of that. Okay, and we've got a sextile here. Nice. It's really nice. It says here integration, cooperation, tools, skills. Ingenuity, harmony, empathy, beautiful. That's a good card to get. All right, so what have we got going on here? I did, when I saw these really briefly, 
uh, earlier when I drew them. I got a sense that there's a very specific message here for maybe this might be like two or three of you I don't know but it, there could be uh, some like this is a very specific message there could be like some jealousy possibly in a love relationship that's causing a bit of grief or difficulty at the moment so that's obviously a very specific message there not everyone's going to be going through that this could be though if you're not quite experiencing that this could be a time for you to look in your past when you've been in relationships that haven't worked out okay and you might be able to look and see and uh, release that that pattern of jealousy you might be able to work at that at the moment um, one of the things I did think as well was that Lester Levinson explains that when we're high and when we're happy and when we're doing well that's actually a great time to release old patterns or old things or old things that didn't work out so this could be a time if you're not dealing with any relationship issue this could be a time to just yeah I don't know just see if there's if there's um, if there's anything that you can let go of any old memories that you can just dissolve or just just find peace with kind of thing but again I, you know is that such a good idea to go, to go digging, digging into old stuff that you don't have to probably you don't have to I, I don't think that's a great idea but this is as I say that's why this is just so specific so not everyone's going to be going through that this could also be maybe for a more general message that there's something you're falling in love out of love with your own creativity there's something like that this could be to do with your work that you know yeah your your own creativity isn't bringing you the joy right now there could be that aspect as well and sometimes when it's like that you've just got to take a break you've just got to because you need some fresh inspiration you need something new and that's why you've drawn these three cards these are beautiful these are great and the solution if you are going through something like that if not you can choose a different group so it's either something to do with you falling out of love with your creativity or there could be an actual love problem but the solution is here you've been drawn through beautiful energy and that is to be with your friends to socialize and these days you know for some of us who are in lockdown and that's difficult sometimes that just means finding someone new to follow and watch on YouTube you know that's that's digital friendship these days and yeah I've been exploring and enjoying lots of new people I found this new uh, lady in London and she was shopping and I wrote to her yesterday and it, anyway she wrote back and then I wrote another one I, I thought oh she's not going to write now and she wrote again and it was just like oh my gosh so yeah that's, uh, you know digital friendship is there sextile this is another really lovely card this is yeah cooperation this is ease this is harmony again this is a sort of friendly energy that comes from this uh this 60 degrees so that's great and six in tarot is a number of love that's beautiful and dreams i think one of the things that you'll find at this time yes this was interesting i got the sense that you need to reimagine your future there's something about you reimagining the future or what it is that you want to do next or and that could be to do with your creativity that could be to do with your work there's something about reimagining the future there's something about reimagining relationships as well what relationships are there might be a letting go uh, as well of relationships as well let's see what byron katie has for us let's see i've got two left very precise today there is no emergency ration as there was last week let's see what we've got here okay so it says oh this is nice i often say that if i had a prayer it would be this 
God spare me from the desire for love, approval, or appreciation. Amen. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Because if you didn't crave these things, think about it. Let's visualize that. What would it be like to not crave these things? You'd be the one giving these things, wouldn't you? If you're not craving it, you're probably, you probably have it and you're giving it. Imagine that. That's reimagining the future. You know, that's reimagining who can I be? You know, instead of me desiring, looking for these things, what if I'm giving love, giving approval, giving appreciation, giving encouragement? You know, isn't that a beautiful thing? And we can do that in all kinds of small ways. This is reminding me of, um, I think it was last, was it, I don't remember which Christmas it was, maybe it was last Christmas, maybe a couple of Christmases ago. I spent the whole day, that day, just going to really tiny YouTubers, like, and they were musicians, and they just have a small channel of like maybe 10 people or something, and uh, I would go and I'd just put loads of likes and like comments and really encourage people, like there's really small YouTubers and, and you know you can see on the about thing like they've been doing it for like five years or something like you can see so I was like oh my god they're small and but they need encouragement and so I was just was giving that you know like it, that was so much fun and you don't have to just do that on Christmas you can do that any day I do that I, I, I try and give as many appreciative comments from my personal account as I can to people because I know because I know what it's like like I'm not asking for like <laughs> Oh gosh, but see, because we're limited right now, socializing is, for some of us, we're not able to go out, you know, like, I mean, obviously I'd love to say, oh, well, you, you know what, you can, here we go. Okay, I was listening to this guy who's called Ozzy Cossack, and he said, if you're in a place where you're not allowed to go and see your family member or your mate or whatever, he said, get in the car, go and drive, see them. And he said, if you get pulled over by a policeman, you can say that, now, but I'm not encouraging this, but apparently this is the law according to Ozzy Cossack. He said, you can say to the policeman, look, I'm a bit depressed and I want to see my mother or my best friend. And he said, you can say, um, I've read the law and I know that, you know, I can ask you to leave me alone on compassionate reasons. So apparently for compassionate reasons, he said that, that, that if they try to do the case in court, it'll get thrown out because you've used the phrase compassionate reason. Isn't that amazing? So you can socialize, you can go and be with your people, like in a real world sense, but you can in a digital sense as well. You know, and with, with Saturn in Capricorn, this is a tough transit. I mean, a lot of us are low on energy anyway. So I know I have been. So the whole digital friendship thing kind of works for me for now. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. When they attack you and you notice that you love them with all your heart, then your work is done. Yeah, that's so true. And work, she puts a capital W here. She has this thing called the work and she gets you to fill in these judge your neighbor worksheets. And that's what, and she uses the term work in, in the context of just spiritual work. Your spiritual work is done. You're done with that person. Yeah. If, yeah, if they can attack you and you notice that you love them with all your heart. Loving them with all your heart doesn't mean you need to say anything, doesn't mean it can be done from a distance. You don't need to say anything or forgive anything or do anything. If you can just love them from a distance, your work is done. And if you don't resist them coming back into your life, look at that, this could be a love thing, guys. This could be with anyone, you know. But, yeah. Look at that. Hang on, it's going to focus. Yeah. See, when this is upright, that's a beautiful union. That's a beautiful friendship or romantic connection. Do you know what? We're going to make these upright. Because you've attracted this quote. And know, and just right now, just see if you can feel love for absolutely everyone in the whole world. <laughs> it's a big ask. But let's just, let's just feel it. See, the thing about love is that it's just, it's effortless. 
and lies and deception and all that, that's full of effort and difficulty. Whereas it's actually easy to just love everyone. Isn't that amazing? Well, you've pulled through some great quotes, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love to know how these go. So if you would like to leave me a comment below, you're very welcome to do so. And I look forward to seeing you next time.